Dr. Kiltz's explanation is that it's plants at the core root of poor metabolic health. And I think it's hard to blame plants that are basically non-existent in the average person's diet firstly. And so when I look at the current diet right now and say, well, what are the problems with this? The big ticket item is that 70% of calories are coming from ultra processed foods that are hyper palatable. They're easy to over consume because they're low in protein, they're low in water, they're low in fiber. And when you're constantly consuming these foods, it's very difficult to regulate the total amount of calories you're bringing in relative to the amount of calories your body actually needs. So it's very easy to eat in a a calorie surplus. And over time, your body has to do something with that excess energy and it begins to store it. It can store it in subcutaneous fat, which is under the skin, and that's relatively benign, not completely. Or it can start to go centrally into our organs, into the liver and pancreas, like I mentioned. And that's what I believe is at the core of poor metabolic health, is this spillover of excessive fat, which is driven largely, but not entirely, by a very hyperpalatable diet. And so to me, the answer to correcting metabolic health, let's say in this country, is not about removing plants or demonizing plants. It's about coming back to diet quality and looking at the research and seeing, well, actually, when people are eating more whole grains and legumes and fiber, we see better health outcomes, not worse. 